cleaning and disinfection of cat enclosures. Cleaning and disinfection, also known as sanitation, of cat enclosures is required when all occupants have left the enclosure, when the enclosure is heavily soiled, or at a minimum of every two weeks when animals are apparently free from infectious disease. When animals have been exposed to or diagnosed with an infectious disease, full cleaning and disinfection is generally indicated and should be performed as outlined in your organization's protocols. You will need gloves and any additional personal protective equipment appropriate for the products being used and the health status of the animals. Cleaning and disinfectant products. Application equipment such as hand pump sprayer or a spray bottle containing appropriately diluted disinfectant solution. Clean rags or paper towels, a dustpan, a trash can, a laundry bag or basket, and accessible supplies needed to set up a sanitized enclosure for a new occupant, such as bedding, bowls, fresh litter and pans, toys or other supplies. Determine which enclosures will undergo cleaning and disinfection. Vacated enclosures should undergo full cleaning and disinfection. Empty, clean enclosures should be skipped. Minimally soiled occupied enclosures should be spot cleaned unless those enclosures are due for cleaning and disinfection. Refer to the spot cleaning of cat enclosures video for more information. If it is occupied prior to opening the enclosure, observe the cat for physical and behavioral health conditions. If concerns are present, report concerns according to your agency's protocols. Cleaning tasks or order may need to be modified to avoid disease spread. Wearing clean gloves and protective outerwear that covers the arms, entice the cat to one side of the enclosure and close the portal door, making sure there is minimal contact with the cat during this process. A cat carrier or den may also be used to move the cat. Refer to the spot cleaning of cat enclosures video for more information. Next, remove all items from the enclosure. Remember to minimize stress for all cats in the ward throughout the cleaning process by avoiding enclosure door clanging, loud chatter, and other ambient noise. Using a dry or slightly damp rag, sweep any loose debris from the enclosure floor into a dustpan. Next, spray enclosure ceiling and walls with detergent solution. Close the enclosure door and spray through the door aiming downward across the floor. For enclosures with solid doors, be sure to spray both sides. Take care not to allow cleaning products or water to spray or drip into surrounding enclosures through this whole process. If needed, allow surfaces to soak for a few minutes to make it easier to scrub soiled areas. Starting at the enclosure ceiling, use a clean cloth or scrub brush to spread the detergent and scrub all surfaces working from top to bottom. Pay close attention to corners, portals, hinges, and latches. Scrub the inside and outside of the enclosure door. Be sure to scrub any soiled areas well, breaking up debris that is smeared or crusted on the surface. If the enclosure is unoccupied, repeat the process on the other side of the enclosure. If the enclosure is occupied, the other side will be cleaned after the first side is clean, dry, and reset. Once all surfaces have been scrubbed, they should be rinsed with clean water. Rinse the clean surfaces with a wet rag or towel. Though it will be wet, the enclosure should be visibly clean at this time. When cleaning an occupied but heavily soiled enclosure where infectious disease risk is low, the following disinfection step can be omitted. Otherwise, a separate step of disinfectant application is indicated. Spray the entire enclosure with a disinfectant solution using the same pattern used to previously apply detergent. 
Don't forget to include corners, latches, and hinges. Leave disinfectant in place for the appropriate contact time as indicated on the product label, followed by a thorough rinse with clean water. Replace gloves and outerwear prior to rinsing. Allow enclosure surfaces to air dry or dry them using clean towels before setting up for a new occupant. Once dry, set up the enclosure with clean supplies. If the enclosure is occupied, open the portal door and entice the cat over to the clean side with minimal contact. Close the portal door and repeat the process. <laughs>